Welcome to this guitar lesson playing the Skyhooks classic Ball and Calling. This song comes from their Living in the 70s album and starts with this intro guitar part. Uh, this part is a part of a D7 bar chord. And the two notes that I'm picking out of that chord are placed at 11th fret. That's one just before your double dots that you'll have on most guitars. 11th fret on the third string. And 13th fret on the second string. And I'm just playing that evenly, picking down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The first two bars of the song. This part is also featured throughout the verses, as well as another D7 sound that he alternates between when playing the verse. This uh, lower D7 sound, the frets that I'm playing are 4th fret, 4th string, fret on the next string down, the third string. So that is the part that Red is playing in the verses. Let's have a look at Bongo's part now. Bongo plays a single note riff during the verse that sounds like this. So, a very bouncy, funky riff. The frets that I'm playing there are 7th fret of the 4th string, jumping up a string, also at 7th fret, so seven on four, seven on five, then back to four on four. Fingers here, you could use your pinky to hit the two sevens, and then first finger to hit your fourth fret note, or you could use your third finger if your pinky isn't uh, very strong. He chugs away on that riff, maybe a little bit of palm muting as well. As red hits those lead notes over the top. The second part to the verse, or the part that will end the verse, We've got a G chord being strummed, taking notes out of the G bar chord, 3rd fret, string 2, 4th fret, string 3, 5th fret, string 4. It's like an open F chord shape, slid up 2 frets to form the G. Or, if you know your G bar chord, the bottom four, three or four notes of that G bar chord. It then moves back to a chord we will label a D chord. And you, most of you, I'm sure, would know your open D chord. But we're adding an F sharp note. That's 4th fret, 4th string in the bass. So the way that I'm creating that chord shape, you commonly see this in rock music, this particular shape. 4th fret on 4th string, with that D chord underneath. And the way I'm doing that, first finger flattens out across the first three strings, 1, 2, 3, at the 2nd fret and then putting your second finger 
to the third fret on second string, a D note there. Two strums of G, two strums of the D with the F sharp bass added in. Then we get this movement back to the riff that he's using through the verse. Those notes that he's using to slide back into that riff, we're hitting the fifth fret on the fourth string, then moving one fret up to sixth fret, then seventh fret. So that was five, six, seven on the fourth string, the D string. And then what I'm adding to that to harmonize it is a note on third string. Shape wise, think like the top of a, a G open chord. And you can also find the tab to this on the Skyhooks fan page on Facebook. So make sure if you're a Skyhooks fan, join that Facebook group. You'll see all the tabs that I'm putting up for these tutorials on that page. To uh, put those two parts together, the chords and then the slide part back into the riff. And then you're rolling with that riff. So once again, just a bit slower, G chord, D with F sharp, sliding where the top finger is doing fret 5, fret 6, and fret 7 on the D string, the 4th string. From there, to end the verse, So those are uh, chords, notes that I'm hitting. The E power chord, this is at seventh fret on your fifth string. Moving back to D power chord. And then a little riff. The notes that I'm hitting there. Seventh fret for both strings, strings four and five. Fifth fret, string four and five. And then ending up on seventh fret, moving up to fifth string, then fourth string. Fingers wise, you could just do that with first and third finger. I'll add some close-ups of these parts just at the end of this video uh, so you can get a better look at what my left hand is doing playing this song. That's the part of the song. She's gonna call you on the telephone. She's gonna call you on the telephone. We then get a single note riff. The notes that I'm hitting here Starting on third string, the G string, frets seven, six, then going up to fourth string, nine, seven. Uh, once again, seven, six, nine, seven. Last part of it, string and fret numbers for that. String one, your E string, first string, seventh fret, followed by three notes that are going to be on second string. Tenth fret, second string, eighth fret, seventh fret. First string note, second string notes. We're then finishing on the third string with these fret numbers. Nine, seven, 
6 and resolve it by going back to the 7. Third string notes that finish this line. 9, 7, 6, 7. Third string notes. 
of this D chord shape. And then moving it two frets back. So you're now placed at double dots with the backbone of your D chord shape. And he moves between those two positions. He doesn't do exactly the same thing in each chorus, but um, variations of those two sounds. And that easily allows him to play the high D7 part that I taught you in the intro. For the start of the outro, the band's dropped away and we just get this raking guitar part. Uh, I'm using what would be a D bar chord shape or set of notes up at 10th fret for the 6th string. Learn your bar chord shapes if you haven't already. There's this great music school called the Eastern Suburbs School of Music that you should look up on the internet. Fantastic music school, great guitar teachers like myself. Uh, and using this F open chord style shape slid right up to that D position. So my top finger is at the double dots, the 12th fret. Uh, I'm raking down that set of notes. And then adding after that uh, a little single note figure of 10th fret on 2nd string, 12th fret 2nd string, and back to 10. 10, 12, 10. And those notes again were on 2nd string. Uh, the rest of the intro, Bongo's doing his Rolling Stones at that 7th fret position that was ending the chorus. We then get the and then a single note run which uh, uses the notes that you're playing at the end of the verse. chord to end it, a D bar chord but also catch the 7th fret of your first string as well which makes it a D6 chord and you'll hear that note that makes it the D6 really ring out on top in the studio recording. Some of the harmonies that you hear in the outro, over that line that was finishing the verse, over that. Uh, in the studio, they did a lot of layering of harmony guitar parts. One of them that you can use. So I'm playing for that, seventh fret on second string, and then three notes on your G string, the third string, fret, Nine, seven, six. In context. And then a last one. This happens to be the major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Played backwards. So the frets that I'm doing for this last harmony line that you'll hear in the song, 10th fret, 9th fret, 7th fret on your skinny string, string 1, 10, 9, 7. Then jumping on 2nd string, 10, 8, 7. Then finishing on 3rd string, 
nine, seven, six. And then go back to your seventh fret just to resolve it. Don't go to your six actually. You just finish on your seven. D6 